These boxes may not look like much, but inside them are two members of the Cisco Catalyst 9105 access point family, and they are pretty freaking cool. Let's start with a closer look and an unboxing of the 9105i. As you can tell from the shape, this one is designed more for ceiling mounts, so it's more of a traditional wireless access point form factor. You've got your mounting points on the bottom, you've got your side access to the console management port, as well as the one gigabit uplink port, and that's pretty much it in terms of I.O. You've got a Kensington style lock for security and an indicator LED that we'll take a look at a little bit later. But one of the advantages of the 9105 series is that it offers a variety of different form factors so that you can deploy it however you need. So here you've got your traditional ceiling mount. I love this. So they've got the little nubbins perfectly spaced out for you to so just pop them on, you're ready to rock. As well as this one for adapting to a drop ceiling. That's pretty much it. That's all you get in the package, but realistically, that's all you're gonna need. Because one of the coolest things about the 9105i is that you don't have to use one of Cisco's wireless LAN controllers. You're actually able to use them with an embedded controller version of the 9105, and then when you're ready to upgrade and you need more manageability, you can add a controller later on down the line. And it should be pretty painless because it actually uses some of the same code base as their Catalyst 9800 series. Now, let's take a look at what is actually my favorite of the two. This is the 9105W. This mounts to a standard wall plate. You put this puppy on here and right there, oh yeah, my friends, not only does this baby have Wi-Fi 6 support, but because of its two and a half gigabit uplink, you can actually expect greater than one gigabit performance across all of the devices connected to it. Now, the thing about Wi-Fi is that no matter how hard you try, you're not gonna get multi-gigabit to a single client, at least not today. But that doesn't mean that these wireless access points aren't capable of it. So having a two and a half gig uplink means, let's say you've got a large hospital room and there's some people visiting, for example, you got like 20 people on this one wireless access point. Instead of being choked by that one gigabit uplink, two and a half gig means that everyone is getting a much, much better experience. And this one has some other cool features too. Now, the thing about Wi-Fi is, yeah, okay, it can be great. And Cisco has built a ton of cool features into their 9105 series. For example, they worked with Apple to ensure that roaming, as you go from one access points coverage area to another, is gonna be as seamless as possible on iOS devices. That's fantastic. But Wi-Fi is not always the answer. What I really like about these is, in the event that you need to get a wired connection back to the main switch, all you gotta do is plug in here, and you're ready to go. The gray port is the pass-through port, which as the name indicates, just passes through to this port on the backside. These can even be used for analog phones or any other system using RJ45, which is super useful in a dorm or a hotel room. The second option is to use these RLAN ports, the yellow ones, that actually allow you to treat your wired clients as wireless clients and apply, for example, the same security policy as a client connecting wirelessly. That makes it a lot easier to manage wired devices for the network admin. One of the big advantages of an affordable, easily deployed solution like this is setting up employees who are currently work from home. So all you've got to do is get them to power up the access point and connect to their home network that can reach the internet and a public DNS server, and the AP will automatically download a profile from Plug and Play Cloud. The profile will direct the access point to automatically join the controller, and then your AP should now start broadcasting your corporate network. That freaking easy. Of course, if you set everything up ahead of time. Really for me, the bottom line is that it's down to ease of deployment. They're super small, lots of flexible mounting options, and of course, a strong feature set. So you get all the usual things that you expect from Cisco in terms of resiliency, in terms of security, in terms of intelligence. When you pair them with Cisco DNA software, your network does a lot of the work for you and provides you with enhanced analytics and better efficiency and all that kind of good stuff. And of course, scalability. So if you wanna get more information on the Cisco Catalyst 9105,